So, uh, here's another comic review from our good friend on the channel, uh, a a Chris, a.k.a. the Mount Vernon Kid. I uh, hope you're watching this, uh, bro. And today I'm going to be reviewing another comic, this time from Arachna Comics, uh, a, a comic by the name of Ultra Duck. Now, Ultra Duck is basically, what if Zack Snyder directed Zootopia? That's, that's kind of what we're looking at here. What if Zack Snyder directed uh, Zootopia? So the comic is set in a, pl in a fictional um, animal world um, in a city called Feather Bay. And it follows a character named uh, Carlos, who's having a break from his girlfriend Lisa, and along the way he accidentally runs into some alien tech that gives him abilities, along with another guy named Horace. Um, and the two of them are on opposing sides of justice, as well as they're at war with a group, uh, by a uh, government group who wants to use the alien tech for themselves. Now, the alien tech in question isn't really known, but it did come from an asteroid and is actually part of a peacekeeping corps, but we don't learn much about it. Um, but it's actually, this, con this the whole thing feels like a mixture of Shazam and Venom put together. That's kind of what it is. It's kind of like, Shaz actually, no, not more like Shazam. It's more like, now that I think about it, it's actually more like Superman blended with Blue Beetle. That's kind of what it is. It's kind of like Giver meets Superman. That's what, yeah, that's a better word. Giver, the Giver meets Superman, but with a little bit of Zootopia thrown in. That is kind of what this story is. Now, I like the character of Carlos, is that um, I really dig the character of uh, Carlos. Um, he's a very likable person. He's young. He doesn't know what to do with his life. He's kind of on the ropes with his girlfriend. His best friend is, the, is um, his best friend's trying to be supportive. And now he's suddenly given all these powers, and he doesn't know what to do with them. And on the other end of the spectrum, we have uh, Horace, Horace Rusin, who is a scientist who's been, you know, jaded. Now he has all these powers, and he's going to do his damnedest to wreck shit. Um, and basically get back at the people who have uh, wronged him throughout life. That's basically what we're looking at, is a, revenge, a story of rage and justice. Um... The artwork by uh, Humberto Ramos is really damn cool. Uh, Ramos, I think, even does better work in this comic, probably because it was a four-issue miniseries, than in Spider-Man, where some of his artwork can get a little uh, touch-and-go, admittedly. I don't hate Ramos, but sometimes even I will admit, man, he really dropped the ball on that artwork in Spider-Man. So, Ramos can be really hit and miss. Thankfully, it's a hit here, because like I said, it's a four-issue miniseries. Uh, Edgar uh, DeLago, who is the writer of Ultra Duck, I think I said his name right, um, I think this is all, Ultra Duck is also the start of an animal superhero uh, shared universe over at Arachna Comics. Um... What I like about this is that there is some great action in here. The characters are very likable. Um, the villain story is very nice. It actually feels like a typical superhero story of a guy who de didn't think about being a superhero is suddenly thrust upon it, but rather he already knows the whole thing of... Uh, he actually gets it right away when he gets powers. He's like, okay, superpowers, damsel in distress, I need to be a hero, go. So he already understands the, the whole power and responsibility thing, but his whole thing is that he has to um, teach it to, to Rusin, who is more or less abusing the power he now owns. Um, I also like that there's, in an epilogue, they actually go into the science of the uh, sentient form that they're a part of, you know, Rusin and... Uh, Rusin and Ultra and, and uh, Carlos are a part of, or as he's known as Ultra Duck. Um, Ultra Duck is a great is a great little action scene. There's actually some really damn good action sequences when Horace and, and uh, Carlos are throwing down excellent fights here and there. I also enjoy that you know Carlos, despite being an anthropomorphic duck person, he actually feels like a legitimately real character. He feels like a real, living, breathing character with all the wants and feels. He also is not, you know, jealous or anything. He doesn't want to abuse his power. He understands that he doesn't, while he doesn't understand why he got this and why he was chosen, um, he does understand that, yeah, this shit is uh, very powerful and I need to use it responsibly. Um, so I dig that. I really dig that, you know, he gets the whole power and responsibility thing real quick. Um, 
The other thing is that it's a ni he's a nice little foil to Horus, who is more or less abusing the power. We also see that while he also had a girlfriend that he's kind of broken up with, she doesn't want anything to do with him, and he's trying to force himself on her, whereas with, with Carlos and his girlfriend uh, Lisa, he's trying to respect her, but at the same time is like, yeah, I want her back. So he under, you know, there's a great contrast between the two. Um, the main villain, known as uh, Hylina, who is a female uh, anthropomorphic hyena, she's a nice little Lex Luthor character. Um, they don't really go too deep into her character, she's just bad guy. The real fighting is actually, the real conflict, I feel like, comes between Horus and Carlos as Ultra Duck and the other, and the uh, duck and the chicken character he becomes, uh, Horus becomes. They don't really give a name. Um... They also don't... There's also some stuff in here that also feels like they wanted to do more, even though this is a four-issue miniseries. But again, I feel like they... I've heard somewhere that this is actually the start of a shared universe they've been working on, so maybe they explore it more because they they talk about the alien tech that's bonded to Carlos that makes him Ultra Duck, but they don't really uh, go too far into it. Also, another thing that while this all looks cutesy and fun, this is actually a... Th there is some swearing, there is some people who do get killed... But having said that, I would. This is one of the few comics where I would recommend. This is okay for children. This is a PG rate. This would be a, if this was a movie. This would be a PG rated story. It's very much like um, PG in the sense that same. So is Incredibles, where there was swearing and there was some death here and there, but it was never too extreme for young audiences. So I would actually say um, Ultra Duck is family friendly. I would recommend people. You know, you could get this for your kid. You could get this comic. Uh, for your kid, and they would, I think they would really enjoy it. Um, I also like, again, there's some science to the suits, like, they could, they talk about how fast they are, if they're invo- if you can be invulnerable with the, with the suit, um, stuff like that. Um, and it's also, how it ends is very much like, not your typical superhero story. It's not a tip, how, it's not a, you know, it, if anything, it's kind of, the, the, the ending to this actually feels like the ending to Raimi's first Spider-Man movie back in 2000. It, that if you know what I mean, then you'll under you know you'll get it. So if you know, understand and if you remember how that movie ended in Spider in the uh, Raimi's first Spider-Man movie, then you'll understand the meaning. So yeah, um, but yeah, characters are likable. There's some great action. Uh, artwork is great. My only complaint is that they try to do too much in four issues. They try to do way too much. In four issues, and I feel like this was this this was going this was meant to be like a movie script or something or other. But other than that, I highly recommend Ultra Duck. It's a very uh, quick read, but you'll probably you'll definitely enjoy it if you st enjoy stuff like uh, Zootopia or something to that degree and superhero stories. I highly recommend it. Anyway. So, hope you all enjoyed this. If you're new here, remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button and be a part of Earth's My Subscribers. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here in the universe.